now we are going to start the another topic that is equilibrium of force system equilibrium of force system see equilibrium means it is a condition where the sum of all the forces equal to zero equilibrium is a condition where the sum of or the resultant of all the forces will be equal to zero so i'll read the equilibrium is a condition equilibrium is the condition where the resultant of the force system will be equal to zero where the resultant of force system the resultant of force system is zero so simply we can say equilibrium means sum of all the forces equal to zero now let us write the equilibrium equations for the force system so as i said the resultant of force system equal to zero it means sum of all the forces equal to zero so this is the one equilibrium equation now when the sum of forces equal to zero the sum of moments will also be zero because moment equal to force into distance now these are the two equations comes under equilibrium equations now let's take a planar system planar system let's take a planar system so planar system means it is a two dimensional system where there are two axes that is x and y so the equilibrium equations you can write sigma fx equal to 0 then sigma fy equal to 0 now similarly we can also write sum of all the moments about x axis equal to 0 then sum of all the moments about y axis equal to 0 so these are the equilibrium equations for the planar system now let us write equilibrium equations for the spatial system so spatial system means it is a three dimensional system we know that the equilibrium equations for the spatial system are sigma fx 0 means sum of all the forces about x axis equal to zero then sum of all the forces about y axis zero then sum of all the forces about z axis equal to zero now the corresponding moments will also be zero because force sum of force equal to zero now let us write the equilibrium equations for the moment that is sigma mx equal to 0 means sum of all the moments about x axis equal to 0 then sum of all the moments about y axis 0 then the third equation about z axis sum of all the moments about z axis 0 so these are called 
the equilibrium equations. So these are the per planar system. Now these are the equilibrium equations for spatial system. Equilibrium equations for the spatial system. So this is about the equilibrium of our system. Now let us discuss some theorem which is related to the equilibrium. Now let us discuss the Lamis theorem which we will be using in equilibrium condition. So Lamis theorem can be explained with the help of uh, three forces. Let us say let F1 comma F2 comma F3 are the concurrent forces so F1, F2, F3 are the concurrent forces and the angle between F1 and F2, F2 and F3, F1 and F3 let us say alpha, beta, gamma so now the force F1 is acting like this let us say because when I say concurrent forces all the forces must meet at a common point so let us see that like this is F2 and like this force as a F3 so these three forces are the concurrent forces. Concurrent forces means the line of action. So this line is known as line of action of this force. So line of action of all the three forces is a point. Or simply you can say the forces that is F1, F2, F3 if all three forces are meeting at a common point we can say those forces as a concurrent forces. Now let us take the angle between F1 and F2 as alpha then F2, F3 angle let us say beta and the angle between F1 and F3 is let us say gamma. So alpha, beta, gamma are the angles between forces as shown in the time. Now according to this Lamis theorem, so there is an equation that is there is a formula given by Lamis. So according to Lamis theorem, force F1 divided by sine so this is F1 I have written. Now force F1 divided by angle between remaining two forces means angle between F2 and F3 that is beta. So I will write beta. So which is equal to force F2 divided by sine of so F2 means I will close F2. Now what are the remaining forces F1 and F3? So what is the angle between F1 and F3? It is gamma. So I will write gamma is equal to the force F3 by sine. Now I will close F3. Now the remaining forces are F1, F2. So what is the angle between F1 and F2? F2 that is up. The angle between remaining two forces means F3 divided by angle between remaining two forces means I close this F3 the remaining forces are F1 and F2 the angle between these two is a alpha so I will write sin alpha so this is the theorem we call as a Lamis theorem so this is known as Lamis theorem
in which cases we can use this Lamy's theorem. So let us see that means conditions to apply Lamy's theorem. Conditions to apply Lamy's theorem. Number one. So totally there are three conditions. The first condition is all three forces must be concurrent forces. All three forces that is F1, F2, F3 must be concurrent forces. This is the first condition. Now the second condition is out of three angles, out of three angles that is alpha, beta, gamma, minimum two angles must be known. Minimum two angles must be known. The last condition is out of these three forces that is F1 and F2, F3, one force must be known. So, out of three forces, one force must be known. So, these are the three conditions where we can apply this plan here. One is all three forces must be concurrent forces. Then out of three angles, minimum two angles must be known. The third condition is out of three forces, one force must be known. So if any problem satisfies these three conditions, we can apply Lamy's theorem to calculate remaining two forces because one force is given.